what was your best memory from school in Nepal? Getting getting an opportunity to go to school itself was the best memory for me. The pictures you are seeing right now are the testimony of the beauty of Nepal, a destination praised by adventure travelers. But behind these mesmerizing landscapes lies the tough reality of a poor nation, of people struggling every day to eat, of children not being able to access quality education, if not education itself. LEARN is an organization that aims to bring quality education to children in remote areas through radio. We have developed a curriculum based on the research from the World Health Organization on life skills education that can be delivered through radio, which is the most accessible means of communication. <laughs> We chose to launch LEARN in Nepal because first, one in every three children live in poverty. Second, they were massively affected by the earthquake and a lot of children, especially in rural areas, lack access to education. In the distance of one kilometer, we have like five schools. Mm -hmm. But in the village, the, the area like five, uh, five kilometer, ten kilometer, they have no schools, mm. and um, and they have to travel through roadway, they have to cross rivers carrying uh, books. While we were in Kathmandu, we also had the chance to visit both the government schools and the private schools, and we right away noticed a difference, even just from the look outside. Uh, the private schools looked so much better maintained than the government schools and the number of students could lead up to 70 people, 70 kids per class in the government class. Uh, while in the private schools there were a lot less of them, or like 20, 30 kids. We just saw how tough of a challenge it can be to get quality education in Nepal. But for lots of children, the prospect of education itself is still a dream. Lack of access to school is especially an issue for girls as they are still perceived as people meant to stay home to clean the house and take care of the children. In rural areas, it is common for girls to get married between 9 and 15 years old and then live with their husband and his family. In every family, the eldest son always keeps on living with his parents to take care of them, which is why the families don't see girls as worthy of investment as they will leave the house as soon as they get married. So what we have done is visiting uh, government schools in remote areas of the, of the country, playing the show to the kids and then asking what they think about it, observe their reaction um, and get feedback on how we could make it better. We learned quite a lot in the schools. Uh, for example, one of the shows was a hygiene show and, uh, and they needed to wash their hands or they needed to sneeze in their arm and just as soon as the interaction started, like all the kids uh, started getting engaged and then we, we started seeing the response that we had from the kids. We went in there thinking, okay, let's uh, see which age is going to be perfect. Is it 10 to 12? But then when we would be in the classroom, suddenly it wouldn't be just 10 to 12 year olds, but they would put five year olds in the classroom and 14 year olds and they would put them all mixed together. Our experience in Nepal really helped us to understand the education system in the country and to have a very clear vision for what we want to do with LEARN in the near future. Our initial idea was to have it available through the national radio, uh, but actually what we discovered through uh, doing all these workshops in the schools in Nepal was that the show works really, really well when you have a facilitator that interacts with the children and have the children listening to it as a, as a group. <laughs> So from this conclusion, we decided to start LEARN as a school-based radio program. And what we would be doing is um, delivering this material to the teachers in the schools and they would be using it with their, their children um, to have additional resources. Uh, I got the energy from you. If I teach like that, my students can obtain. This uh, program is very needed. Mm -hmm. Needed. Obstacle, number. 
learn teaches you why behind what. If we talk about self-respect and confident, we don't say like how good it is to do it, but it's also about why you should do it. It will ultimately help you be a really amazing human being and a good citizen of this country who can uh, who can dream not for the not for just themselves but also for the society they are in. This past year, we have created the radio shows. We have built a strong team both in the UK and in Nepal. And in June, we ran a pilot project in Nepal to test and improve the concept in the field. During this pilot project, we played Learn's educational radio show to more than 200 children, both in remote areas of Nepal and underprivileged communities in Kathmandu. But most importantly, we saw a need coming from the people themselves, with the directors of every school we visited encouraging our project and wanting to benefit from it to be able to give their students a better education. This experience also confirmed that we are on track to a strong contribution to the UN Sustainable Development Goal 4, which aims to make quality education accessible for all, regardless of gender, socioeconomic background and living conditions. In the next year, our goal is to launch Learn's radio show in two districts in Nepal, reaching 10 schools, 1,000 children and 60 teachers on a weekly basis with our life skills education curriculum. Don't miss the chance to support our cause and help us make it happen. <laughs>